Hey right, guys, I'm bringing you back with another video. Today we are doing Vanish Fafnir Hasbro versus Takara Tomy. Um, we're just going to be rolling out these videos pretty quick here just to, you know, give you guys more content. So with that being said, we have Vanish Fafnir for Takara Tomy and Vanish Fafnir for Hasbro. So the cool thing is, is with Hasbro is it's still hard plastic, but the hard plastic is rubber coated hard plastic. And it's just a very thin layer of rubber coating on the hard plastic. So that was the one cool thing with this base. They still kind of brought back the rubber, but they didn't make it like TT where the layer is just almost 90% rubber. Other than the dragon heads, the dragon heads are hard plastic. So, uh, yeah, let's go over the comparisons real quick. And with that, like I said, so <clears throat> we have kick, tapered, and then the armor. The armor is plastic for Hasbro. Hasbro has slopes. Here's the QR code. And the armor for TT is metal and has teeth and a locking system for the chip. Also, there's more detail on the chip for, way more detail for the chip on the Takara Tomy version. The Hasbro version, they just did it dirty. Um, they just wanted to put one out, obviously, and it just didn't look good in the long run. Um, but then when we got Wraith Fafnir, or Wrath Fafnir, it actually turned out pretty good, and that chip is actually pretty good looking. Then we have the actual tip, so pretty cool. All right, let's do some test spins. Emptying out the Pro Series Stadium real quick. I really, I guess I really should have just had this set up, but it is what it is. All right, so we're gonna use the Pro Series Stadium again, and then we'll probably, if things get out of hand and we can't get decent results with the Pro Series Stadium, we'll do the um, Quad Strike Stadium. Let's zoom out just a little bit more so we can get a good angle on that stadium. All right, first off, let's do TT. Karatomi and taper is really essentially the same on both bays. I think taper for Hasbro is just slightly lighter. Yeah, because it literally looks almost identical. All right, three, two, one. Okay, and now that it's found center, and then well, that wasn't supposed to happen. I was trying to, oh, this was Hasbro, my bad. Um, so that was Hasbro. I thought I grabbed the TT one. It's just funny because they're both so similar that, uh, you know, it's if you're not looking at the bottom, it's easy to almost mix them up by just looking at the layer. Not the DB core, but the layer. Um, all right, so here's Takara Tomy, three, two, one. We'll launch it at an angle. Well, that didn't work. There you go. You kind of got to see what kick is all about there. And then if we kind of do that number, there you go. You get to see what kick is supposed to do. All right. Now then let's relaunch Hasbro. And then... That's the one problem with Hasbro's, is Hasbro's version just bursts super easily. And they did that, I feel like they did that on purpose with Fafnir, because Drain Fafnir was just really, really OP for Hasbro. And then they were like, oh yeah, no, we can't have an OP stamina type. All right, let's do some battles in Core, and core Plus and Low Mode. battle is a burst. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of bursts. Now we'll do core. All right.
All right, and let's go ahead and do um, Apex real quick, facing off against Core, I mean low mode, seeing as it's already in Ape, uh, there we go. Apex facing, well actually we'll just do uh, Apex facing off against high mode and then we'll do the last two swaps. Okay, so we're doing high mode versus Apex and then we'll do Apex plus facing off against high mode. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Try that again. Jesus, just throw the Beyblade, why don't you? Three, two, one. There we go. Another burst. All right. It's going to be tons of bursts for Takara Tomy, I can already tell you that. All right. So now then moving on to Apex Plus. TT lost one click. There we go. Three, two, one. Like I said, I'm really kind of hoping with the next generation that's is just done with. They need to fix this system. For a burst, the self-destruct on one. Vanished Fafnir for TT coming right behind Hasbro and throwing it into the pocket and getting stuck. Very nice maneuver. All right, let's do another Apex versus high mode. If the damn bays will come off the stupid launcher. Sorry, this is just my one frustration with uh, these launchers is they're just, certain aspects of them, they're just garbage. Like they should have been designed better. And honestly, and quite frankly, moving forward, I feel like 90% of the launchers should be made metal. You have metal gears and metal parts, it's gonna be less prone to half the crap we face with. There we go. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna throw um, TT into low mode and do Apex plus facing off against Apex in low mode. So, and then we'll do high mode facing off against core plus and core. Three, two, one. Really? Jesus Christ. Uh, the Beyblade tried to become a micro. Just wonderful. Oh, the actual launcher piece actually broke. That is actually pretty surprising. Was not expecting that, to tell you the truth. All right, so yeah, no, we're gonna have to swap launchers. Um, is, all right, let's see if the Hasbro launcher is up to the task. Especially with how how heavy they made these bays, they should have designed more metal parts on the launcher than just the screw and the little rod pin. Three, two, one. There we go. Not as good power, not as great power as, you know, the other, but it works. All right. Now we will do Apex facing off against low mode.
Three, two, one. Fafner using Hasbro Fafner using that side of the pocket to enter back in. But it is not enough to claim victory. All right, so now we move on to core facing off against high mode. And then core plus facing off against high mode. Yeah, I don't know why. It, like, you know, the, the term surprised. Fafnir got surprised really bad. It just... Evolution was its peak for Hasbro. Um, after that, it just was not all that great. And I feel like that was, it started with Geist. Geist, you know, Fafnir for um, Turbo was just really bad. And then it just kept that same trend from there. All right, three, two, one. Because I don't even think Barrage Fafnir for Hasbro was good. Core facing off against high mode. Put it in core plus facing off against high mode. Three, two, one. And high mode getting another burst. Very nice. So this is gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Got some humor out of watching Hasbro just being tanked. Um it is sad, like I said, to see, you know, what Hasbro did to Fafnir. And I'm I'm hoping with the new system and their release, I hate the fact, I'm just going to say it now, I hate the fact that, you know, Hasbro's doing their X release in fall of 24. They should be pushing spring of 24 because fall at that point, they're going to be too far behind. They should be pushing for spring. I don't know why they're not, but it's kind of just a big letdown to people who collect Hasbro products because at that point, they'll be so fo so focused on trying to catch up that the quality of the new bays are not, you can almost guarantee they're, they won't be the same because they're not trying to push for an earlier date. They're trying to, you know, um, so that's just my take on that. I feel like they should be pushing for a spring date and be developing the new base as of right now, seeing as it's been confirmed. But anyways, to stay under 15 minutes, this was the video on Vanish, Fafner, Hasbro, and TT. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, please continue killing it on the likes, comments, and subscribes. With that being said, three, two, one, let it rip. Have a great day, everyone.